What is up guys, TW Booty Hunter here with another video and with another top 10 reasons. And hey, you know what, since I got such a great reception for my Cody Rhodes video, my top 10 reasons why Cody Rhodes sucks, um, yeah, which a lot of you Cody crybabies were living up to your name and crying and bitching and moaning in my comment section really really badly uh <laughs> so i figured hey if you enjoyed that last video why don't i go ahead and put the salt on the wound even further for you cody crybabies in matter of fact just general wrestling fans who seem to have a real weird hate boner against this guy against this individual that i'm talking about in this video who is obviously the tribal chief who is obviously the big dog who is the former member of the shield who is the wwe undisputed universal champion this is Top 10 reasons why Roman Reigns rules. Starting with this first reason, which is... Roman Reigns represents absolutely everything that the wrestling marks hate, which is... A bit of charisma, a little bit of muscles, a certain look to him, or a look that's not just plain, doughy, skinny, fat, white guy uh, who flips, flops, and flies. Um, and yeah, that's really just been in an actual freaking character. Something that, again, wrestling marks hardcore wrestling fans just really hate in the fact that he doesn't care as to what they think he doesn't really respond to any of the criticisms there's another thing that they hate as well he doesn't fold under any of that pressure so that's another thing or that's one thing off rip that I gotta give to Roman Reigns that in itself is a damn good thing so keep it up, Reigns. And matter of fact, what I'm going to go ahead and keep up is these top 10 reasons why Roman Reigns rules, which another reason is... Roman Reigns is one of those people who honestly just gets a strong reaction, no matter who it is like no matter like just what it is you know whether he's a face whether he's a heel whether people boo whether people cheer he gets a strong reaction either way which is way more than what you could say for any a lot for a good bit of these current superstars especially current superstars who most of the marks will swear on their lives are so over even though they get cricket when they go to the ring <laughs> turning Corcano. uh yeah like literally when they get to the fucking ring roman reigns he gets a reaction no matter what like it, it like that's just how it is that's how it was with john cena gets a strong reaction he gets a reaction which again you cannot say for a good bit of these current day wrestlers um, right or that's the fault of like bad creative or not. It's like Roman Reigns could be in an entirely really bad creative like rut and still get a good reaction. Just always. And that's something that it truly does make him a real good star. That honestly does make him a bit of a star, like in a way. Because it's like at least you're getting some rip. It's like even if you're doing next to nothing and still getting a reaction just from like being there. Yeah, I mean that's something. That truly is something. Even if a lot of people don't want to admit that. But nevertheless, let's go on to the next reason, which is.
Roman Reigns, the thing about him is that he is a consistent performer. And I already know what a lot of you psychotic marks are going to say. Consistent performer? How can he be a consistent performer? He's not even there. Shut your bitch asses up. Because here's the thing. When it comes to consistency, it doesn't always mean being there. It doesn't always mean necessarily being at the shows all the time. It really goes more into the fact of every time he does do a show, whether it's a weekly show, you know, on SmackDown or whatever, whether it's a pay-per-view or even just special occasions. Nevertheless, it's always a big deal. Every, like, is like, not only is it a big deal, like, he gives, it's an A-plus thing. It, it's an A-plus just match almost all the time. It's something that you're going to be invested in, whether you're, want, whether you're cheering for him or whether you're cheering for the other guy. You are 100% invested. That's just how most Roman Reigns matches have usually been. Rather, he was facing people like Triple H. Rather, he was facing Seth Rollins. Rather, he was facing John Cena or just like Drew McIntyre or anybody else. You will always get invested into a Roman Reigns match. Despite whether you're cheering or booing Reigns, that's just how the hell it is. Whether you people want to admit that or not, facts are just facts, and facts do not give two fucks about your feelings. Um, speaking of a something else that doesn't care about your feelings is going to be this next reason, which is... One thing about Reigns is the simple fact that, again, whether people want to admit it or not, he is a main attraction. When he comes into the ring, it's a big deal. He comes into SmackDown, it's a big deal. Um, you know, when he shows up, you know, whether he's spearing people, whether he's talking on a mic, it's always going to be a big deal. No matter what he does, he's you know, wrestling a match, talking talking on the mic, doing a segment, huge deal every single time. That's one of the reasons why basically he can show up like only two days and Seth yeah, he can he can basically show up two days and still have like 12 million people checking for him or at least like millions of people checking for him why Seth Rollins wrestles his ass off and breaks his back, breaks his neck puts his blood, sweat, and tears into the ring um in like 365 days a year and yet maybe about 600k people to an end of that shit if even <laughs> so yeah reigns can wrestle two days and still be the best while rollins can wrestle 365 days a year and will still suck and will still be a joke and will still be irrelevant which is why seth rollins has the constant need to bitch and moan about him every single time and the fact of just how much of a big deal Roman Reigns is, is the fact that Cody Rhodes' stupid story, for whatever reason, has him needing, not just wanting to, needing to defeat Roman Reigns in order to finish the story. He could easily have finished the story with the World Heavyweight Championship that Seth Rollins has, but of course, didn't want to do that pretty much burying Seth's title right in the process and saying without saying that Seth's championship literally means jack shit compared to Reigns, which is actually correct. Roman Reigns is a big deal and he doesn't even have to show up uh, for 
so many days or hardly ever just to be the guy. He's going to be the guy regardless. And that's just simply how damn good Reigns continues to be. But nevertheless, let's go ahead on to the next reason, which is... And yet, not gonna lie, Roman Reigns, all things considered, out of like most of these like very modern wrestlers and stuff like that, this current roster, he's had some of the best character development, possibly really out of everybody, you know, showing a lot more depth and stuff, and just really kind of becoming more larger than life, as opposed to Roman Reigns back then, you know, getting out of S.H.I.E.L.D., he was just kind of getting his feet as like a main eventer or that WWE was heavily pushing as a main eventer. Um, yeah, it's like instead of that and kind of sometimes stumble over his lines and the whole stupid, uh, you know, suffer and suck attach bullshit that the Mark will bring up as some sort of stupid point against Reigns. It's like uh, he's honestly improved a lot. Oh, honestly, to the point where it's like, you know, these marks, they love their catchphrases and all that. You know, they like singing along to stuff. They like chanting along with stuff. Even the whole acknowledge me thing. He even has his own sort of catchphrase and all that shit now. Um, and yeah, definitely pretty much commands, you know, attention whenever he kind of like shows up on the show and stuff as opposed to back then once again he was just the guy who used to be in the shield and now he's one of the biggest stars that wwe has today and yeah once again not something you can say about a lot of performers today that's a pretty huge thing even to the point where it makes other talents have to work even harder just to follow him and he not even have to do as much now that in my opinion is true star power when you're so damn good that other people actually have to work harder to try to follow you and you don't even have to do much if that's not amazing i don't know what the hell is but uh, nevertheless let's get on to the next reason which is In the also one I want to say that Reigns Roman Reigns he sets honestly he sets a standard for a lot of WWE superstars now to the point where he in the bloodline or specifically him he is on a level where a lot of WWE superstars no matter if it's Raw NXT or Smackdown want to be able to get to in terms of just main event status in terms of just overall attraction you know like main attraction and stuff like that and yeah it, 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 even just all around even like pool because i think it's the fact that reigns is such a big deal he has certain pool over his storyline that's how good he's gotten to the point where he's almost his own boss in a way, which is pretty badass. I like that. It's not something that, yeah, it's just not something that you're really seeing like that really anywhere else. And I think that is pretty cool in the fact that when Reigns is there, it almost motivates the talent, motivates other WWE superstars to really want to kind of go in harder to really kind of show, hey, I can compete with this guy. I can beat this guy. I can get to where the hell he's at. And that's cool because you really need someone like that to really kind of motivate and drive up that competitive side to these 
superstars and really make them want to be at their best. But, yeah, that's just another thing. And on to the next reason, which is... Bro, one thing that is so amazing about this dude, I'm, I'm not even I'm not even capping right now. I actually just thought about this. The fact that this dude is incredibly OP as shit, man. He is OP. Like, he's basically incredibly OP like Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat. He's more OP than fucking just like Bison in Street Fighter. It's like if WWE were to ever truly have like a sort of fighting game style sort of tower thing like they had in 2K19, if they were to bring that back but more in the style of kind of like how Mortal Kombat does their fighting towers, in Reigns should be at the top undisputably as the final boss as the what you need to beat to win like the WWE Universal Championship or even just I don't know or just whatever it, it just to beat them in general Reigns should always be that final boss for the simple fact that he's taken out all comers he's beaten almost everybody there is to beat and there ain't been hardly anybody who's been able to stop him yet um yeah it's pretty amazing it's pretty amazing the run he's been on we haven't seen a run like this in an awfully long time so yeah it's nothing short of impressive and yeah it is historic in a way it, it very much is so if nothing else, Reigns already has a very Hall of Fame-esque career to him. Already so far, but there's still more that we can see from Reigns. But yeah, nevertheless, man, let's go ahead into not saying he will be in the Hall of Fame, but I just kind of want to put that out there that his career so far is very Hall of Fame before any of you freaking Reigns haters go psycho in the comments but like I said nevertheless let's go into the next one which is Reigns man this guy has won a lot of championships he won pretty yeah he's a two-time well i think maybe a two-time grand slam champion two-time or three-time i think multiple world titles wwe universal both from raw and smackdown uh, i think he's won he's won the smackdown one like twice and then on top of that former intercontinental champion former united states champion former WWE champion and former tag team champion as well. Yeah, he, he's done it all, man. He has definitely done it all. And I know that's the case with some other wrestlers that you could say are also Grand Slam, like The Miz and all of that. But for the sake of this being a top 10 reasons why Marvin Reigns rules, I figured I'd go ahead and put that in. I'd go ahead and highlight some of his accomplishments, uh, especially with that, and especially with this next one, which is... That is right. Beating The Undertaker at WrestleMania, being the second ever person to beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And yes, I know there's the fact that Brock Lesnar is the one who officially broke the streak. 
but WWE is trying their damnedest to erase him, even though, you know, the fact that there's no proof that he had actually anything to do with the whole Janelle Grant thing going on with Vince McMahon um, in saying that McMahon was just legitimately dressed as him. I think it's complete BS that they're trying to eliminate Brock simply for that reason. Um, but, yeah, I don't care what they try to do. Uh, I like Reigns, uh, but Brock is the guy who I'm always going to remember, who I'm always going to remember breaking the streak. But, nevertheless, Reigns beat Right. Like he's, he beat Undertaker at WrestleMania. He is the second guy ever to beat Undertaker at WrestleMania. And there's not a lot of people, once again, that can say they did that. Matter of fact, there's almost, there's really nobody else that could say that they did that besides Brock Lesnar. And that's honestly, out of everything that Reigns has accomplished, easily one of the biggest things ever that any WWE superstar could ever accomplish, uh, that in itself is a real bonafide achievement. But something else that is also a bonafide achievement is the next and very last reason, which is... And I know, I know, I know, I know, this is going to be a very, very difficult pill for a lot of you marks to swallow, but rather you want to admit it or not, rather you like it or not, rather you try to build your own head cannon for it not being true or not, Roman Reigns is the biggest star in pro wrestling of this modern era there is nobody else who is putting asses in seats like he is who's doing it bigger than him now mind you i'm not saying he's anywhere near rock level i'm not saying he's anywhere near stone cold level but in terms of this modern era there's nobody else that's really doing it up like roman reigns it sure as hell ain't no Seth Rollins crybaby ass. It sure as hell ain't Cody Rhodes. Uh -uh. It's nobody in AEW. It's nobody in TNA. Nobody in New Japan. I'm almost sure of it. Reigns is the guy. When you think of like, the thing about it is, when you think of WWE, you're gonna think of Roman Reigns for a good bit of the part. You are. You honestly are. And that's just how it is. Even like people who haven't watched wrestling in a long time, they see Roman. They want to know who this guy is. They want to know what he's about. And nevertheless, you know, they're going to be captivated. Uh, not to the level of a Hulk Hogan. But nevertheless, in terms of just the deck that we're stacked with now, uh, that we're kind of... Yeah, the hand that we're kind of dealt now with this current roster. Again, Reigns is the biggest and best wrestler or the biggest and best superstar that we have. So, yeah, I'm definitely, I have no bones in saying that whatsoever. It's just the God's honest truth. And once again, facts do not care about your feelings. Those are just the bonafide facts. Um, these are not so much opinion based these are absolute facts especially the last one but uh, anyways with all that being said so 
So, yeah, that was basically just my thoughts on top 10 reasons why I think Roman Reigns rules, why I feel Roman Reigns rules, and why he is one of the best in this current era today. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? If so, if you disagree, let's try to be sensible. Let's try to be a little bit mature in the comment section down below, even though this is the internet and a lot of in there are a lot of wrestling marks on the internet. So asking for that is going to be a tall damn order, knowing just how a lot of you wrestling marks and especially Cody Crybabies are. But, anyways, Let's still try to have a mature discussion, if possible, um, about it. And that's really just it. If you like top 10 videos like these, as well as other videos I do on the channel, such as Let's Play videos, reaction videos, uh, tier list videos, or smash or pass videos, or just whatever uh, other videos I do on the channel that I can't really describe right now because simply because of the fact that I do so much different content that really kind of just talking about it here would just take up too much of your time and this video might probably wind up being long enough as it is so yeah if all of that sounds good to you and you want to be a part of booty hunter family then by all means feel free to like comment share subscribe and also maybe even join for just a dollar a month to be a part of the Booty Hunter VIP club or VIP membership to have access to custom emojis, early access to videos like these and others a day or two a week, maybe even months before they even come out. Also, Discord mod access like as soon as you sign up for the membership as soon as you become a member or if you are a member and you go into the discord you join the discord group you almost automatically become a mod just off of that alone and also I can't possibly forget shout outs at the end of the video such as these wonderful people right here, such as the homies Slipknot, Jacob, Kaz, Xavierus, and of course, who could forget, Tiffany Stratton Fan. Thank all of you so much for supporting the channel, especially the ones who also may not be members as well. Even if you're just hate watching, appreciate the fact that you're giving me views appreciate the fact that you're supporting the channel in whatever way you're doing it um and yeah with all that being said click that notification bell uh to enable notifications and to enable all notifications so that you never miss an upload from yours truly and with all that being said this has been your boy tw booty hunter giving you guys another banker and I'll see you guys next time. Go ahead and cry, Cody Cry Babies. Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to And getting butt hurt Like the sensitive little bitch you are Thank you for being an ass